Okay. So I fly down to Vegas. Here's Kurt trying to install the software on this software on, on the system. He can't get it to work. Along comes this kid. Looks like he's about 15 years old. Sandy brown hair, wiring glasses, wool socks and sandals. He says, can I help you? Kurt says, yes, I think you can. About 10 minutes later, Linux was running on that PC. And that was the first time that Linus Torvalds had ever installed Linux off the CD-ROM because his system at home didn't have a CD. The way he installed Linux was he gathered the parts over the net, built it on the second disk drive, booted the second disk drive, and installed it on the first disk drive. That's how he made Linux. And so I started talking to this. They said, hey, sit down, sit down, try it out. So I sat down. You know, this is a stinky, crappy, miserable PC, right? Started logging in. Holy mackerel, this is really cool. I mean, all the BSD stuff was in the BSD place, and all the System 5 stuff was in the System 5 place. And it was like playing a great piano, you know? I mean, if you play any piano and it's tuned, you'll at least get some music out of it. But if you play a really good piano with all the keys weighted and all that stuff, it's a joy to play. And this was a joy to play. And so I started talking with Leas, and went to the two talks he had, and afterwards I took him out to the Natchez. That's the last river boat that was up and down the Mississippi River, it's a steamboat. And we were sitting up in the front drinking these drinks called hurricanes. <laughs> this is pre Katrina. <laughs> drinking these drinks called hurricanes, and you know, and the reason they were called hurricanes was after you had one of these, you felt like you were hit by a tropical depression. <laughs> And I said, Linus, I said, have you ever thought about porting Linux to a 64-bit processor and a risk print processor? Get those Intelisms out of it. You know, something like the Alpha. And Linus says, well, I've been trying to do the Alpha, but the, the office in Helsinki's been having problems getting one, and I may have to do the power PC instead. Ah! <laughs> Linux is inevitable. And my management laughed at me. 